What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike Lemon coming back with an 11 month update on my 75 gallon reef tank. So let's check out uh, the inhabitants. Of course, you see I have no fish just yet anyway. We'll get to that in a little while. Corals are doing all right. This stick right here in the middle, that green one, it was, I got it when I got the fish and that bleached out, it was all white, but now it's coming back. The bonsai crushing it as always. And so that thing is doing good. My anemone moved up here and it's actually been doing as best as it has it's ever been. Uh, it's starting to bubble up a little bit. It is certainly killing that whatever. It's like a setosa, crusting setosa is what it looks like. Some kind of monty or something, either way. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might just try and snap off a piece off that and put it somewhere else. I've been dosing um, Travis's NO3 and a lot of my zoas are coming out and they never were. This thing, since I've been dosing, I don't really know why. It's just receding. Um, I'm too scared to move it, so I don't really know. Um, that leather in the back, we can zoom in on that. Uh, that thing was always like shriveled up, but since I've been you know, putting the NO3 in here, it's been doing well. Shrimp's doing good as always. Um, some of my zoas, like them green and whatever right there in the middle, those never out up until recently so that's tight these guys are crushing as always you know this thing i don't know if i'm going to keep it it's probably like 40 heads or something i don't know what i'm gonna do with it uh, but we'll see there's the accidental frag of the green slimer doing totally good um some rastas some utter chaos some of these guys whatever uh, move over here shaky doing good as always that war core on the back never really did a whole lot but it's coming. I mean, this thing's never been happier. A little orange mushroom back there. These acans, loving life right there. So that's cool. And these sticks are here. You got that blue bird's nest over there doing good, getting some growth. This green guy hasn't done a whole lot, but he's fluffy and loving life. I mean, he's happy. Uh, Monty in the back doing well. This thing completely died a while ago. As you see all the way back, polyps are out doing well. Uh, this little guy broke, but encrusted good and you know, it's growing back. This one, a little project of mine, but as you see that left side, starting to get more dark green and I'm just gonna let that thing ride. This thing's dying off too. I'm not too sure why. It's like a rainbow money or something. Um, it's always been doing well until recently when I've been doing the NO3, so I don't really know. That thing in the back is always white. Now it's like a little pinkish, maybe even like a dark purple. Since I've been dosing NO3, that is coming back good. This thing, never been happier. It's definitely doing good. Um, so I'm happy with what, what's going on in here. Um, the only few issues I've been having is like right here you see on the pump, there's some kind of like brown algae. There's a little bit of green stuff up there, but on my rocks, if you guys are wondering, that fuzz is gone. I did Microbacter clean, and it didn't really do anything till like the past couple days. Um, I went through the whole bottle, finished it off a while ago, but for some reason it's starting to happen right now, which is which is cool. And, you know, some stuff on the power heads. Another little issue I'm having, and I need to fix it, is an Aptasia. There's one right there. I believe there's one right there. There's a few of them in there, one right there. Uh, the two in the sand bed I could certainly get out ASAP. I just haven't. I'm kind of thinking one of the stocking lists or one of the fish on the stocking list may be something to take care of the Aptasia. So we will see. I'm not too sure um, what I'm going to do. I am going to put a canopy on here soon. The sump is doing well. Uh, I don't have any lights on it. That's one of my next purchases too, is to get some kind of like LED light strip for under there. So I might set it up to the apex and then set up a breakout box. And when I open that, the light will turn on and um, that's what I want. So that's going to be happening soon. Another thing I'm dealing with right now is I made this since my apex was down. Um, it's kind of hard to read, but this line is where I put my apex back online. And for the past couple days, I've been testing, trying to check it out. But if you see, I'm at 9.9 .9 right now, uh, two days ago, 9.9 .9 yesterday. Today I'm at 10. Um, so I'm keeping track of that and my, um, keeping track of my Kimura, um, it was at 30 mils a minute or whatever it is. And I dialed it back to 28 since it got up to 10. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna give it a couple days, see where it goes. And then we'll go from there and make adjustments as needed. So we're trying to get this thing around somewhere between, if I can get it between like 8.5 and 8.8, .8, then I'll leave it there. Other than that, the tank is doing well. I add another power head if you guys noticed and yeah, 
everything's going going well. So let me uh, run down to the basement and we will check out the quarantine tank. All right, now here's the quarantine tank. Uh, I do have a five gallon water, five gallons of water right there mixing. So I will do a five gallon on this tank. I did one Tuesday, today's Friday. I've been running copper in this tank since Sunday. These guys are doing fine. They're eating well. I'm gonna run the copper for another, probably till next weekend, I would say. And then I picked up some Prozzi Pro, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna do that for like 10 days, like the bottle says. And that should put me at seven weeks in quarantine, which is probably a lot. But, uh, but one thing I did do, and somebody commented on my last video about how there was no service agitation, boom. I picked up this little guy, it's by Odyssey. Basically has this little spray bar, it trickles over like a like a like an overflow, goes through some filter pad and gets squirted out. And as you see, the um, surface agitation is beautiful now. These guys are doing good. They're eating every day and showing no signs of anything. So hopefully they'll be in the new, in the tank in I don't know two weeks ish. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, other than that, that's what I've been doing over here. Just trying to get my crap together, trying to you know fix my issues and trying to make sure the, the reef it will thrive and do well. Uh, the only other thing I want to talk about real briefly is every Friday, I'm doing a live stream at eight o'clock. It's a Friday night saltwater shindig. You know, hang out, talk shop, talk reef and um, see where the stream takes us. We try and get new guests in there all the time. So. Um, just keep an eye out for that. But I'm gonna leave you guys here. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, tips, whatever, leave them down low. Appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Your boy Mike Lemons out. Peace.